Detroit Pistons bad boy John Sally once jokingly said the NBA stood for nothing but Africans. When he uttered that remark, the NBA was 86% African American. As of 2023, that demographic has shrunk to 73%. Isn't it ironic that a league that is still overwhelmingly African-American has ownership and a commissioner that does not represent the majority of its players? Another irony is one of ESPN's most enigmatic and controversial personalities is a black woman who has made some pretty interesting statements about black men, and she covers the NBA. Malika Andrews has a rare, obscene, public, and clinical contempt of African-American men. Malika Andrews covering the NBA is like a sexist man being a panel member on The View. It's overwhelming. A very brief check of her history will confirm why Malika Andrews is one of the most hated NBA analysts. Malika Andrews, journalist for the ESPN Network, has been a focal point of a lot of hate in the last couple of years. What usually happens between players and experts has now become a battle between two top media figures that associate with the NBA but the journalist has been caught up in a controversy in the past as well. Back in 2019, Giannis Antetokounmpo was blatant about his feelings towards Andrews after an article she had written about him. Her piece speculated that the Greek freak will leave the Milwaukee Bucks if they do not make improvements to the team. Malika Andrews, ESPN. Uh, for both of you guys, I'm curious, you guys have talked a lot about how um, at this point, you know, sometimes it takes experience. I'm wondering if now that you have some of that experience, if you see more validity to that point or what you think about that now that you've gone through it. This article was fresh when the Bucks lost to the 2019 champions Toronto Raptors. During the press conference, Giannis was asked a question by Malika Andrews on experience. He simply did not bother to answer got up and walked out of the room leaving Chris Middleton confused. Now, the issue that got her in deep water was when she called out analyst Stephen A. Smith for voicing his opinion on the Boston Celtics publicizing Ime Udoka scandal. The journalist clapped back on live broadcast saying, Stephen A, with all due respect, this is not about pointing the finger. Stop. What became apparent to me in this press conference is that we do not have all the information here. Let me be very clear. I don't appreciate where you're going with that. I'm not blaming anybody but Ime Udoka. He deserves, the fact of the matter is I've said he deserved to be fired if they were going to fire him. If you're not going to fire him, then don't fire him. My issue is all of this being publicized. The point that I'm trying to make is just you like you're not mentioning. Excuse, Udoka me, excuse was me, not excuse me, excuse me. I listen to you. You're the one telling me to stop on my show. It ain't happening. Smith went on to reiterate his prior points, specifically bemoaning the Celtics publicizing the story. After going neck and neck against each other for several years, Chris Paul and Stephen Curry are now teammates. Had such a scenario even been suggested in the past, it would have been termed nonsensical. The NBA business is certainly full of surprises and brutal at the same time. But by highlighting some moments of the epic battles Steph and Paul shared, while interviewing him on ESPN after the trade, host Malika Andrews found herself on the receiving end. During an interview with Chris Paul on ESPN, Andrews asked him about being teammates with Steph. To the fans, everything was great about the interview, except the video that the channel decided to air while having Paul on the channel. The video showed Curry breaking Paul's ankles and making him fall to the ground. Perhaps the blatant disrespect towards CP3 didn't sit well with the fans and they slammed Malika Andrews for lowlighting the point god. She was the subject of some social media backlash after she asked NBA Commissioner Adam Silver about the John ja Morant gun flashing video, which led to the Memphis Grizzlies star laid a suspension later on. Silver appeared on ESPN as the San Antonio Spurs were awarded the number one overall pick in the 2023 NBA draft. Andrews asked Silver about his meeting with Morant after the Grizzlies guard was suspended for the first time flashing a gun in a Denver nightclub. Honestly, I was shocked when I saw this weekend that video. Now, we're in the process of investigating it, um, and we'll figure out exactly what happened to the best we can then. It's, again, it's the video's a bit grainy and all that, but I'm assuming the worst. He said that he and Morant talked openly and honestly about the consequences that could stem from waving a firearm around. While the question seemed pertinent given the situation, 
some NBA fans were not happy with it. Andrews faced some backlash on social media. The 2023 NBA draft was a joyous occasion, as players heard their names called by an NBA franchise. One of the names that was called was Alabama Crimson Tide star Brandon Miller, who was chosen number two overall by outgoing Charlotte Hornets owner Michael Jordan. Miller's elite skill set is undeniable, as the 6'9 two-way wing has been linked to Los Angeles Clippers star Paul George for his smooth floor game. But all wasn't easy for the Antioch, Tennessee native who was involved in a murder case in January. While he was not charged in the still unresolved case, the controversy surrounding him was definitely something that teams probably brought up during his visits prior to the draft. And while that's protocol for each team to do their extensive homework on prospects, former Dallas Cowboys wide receiver Des Bryant wasn't feeling ESPN's Malika Andrews asking the panel this. Miller, his name did surface in court testimony involving a case where his former teammate and another man, they've been indicted for capital murder in the fatal shooting of 23-year-old Jamia Harris in January. The University of Alabama has described Miller as a cooperating witness. How is this factoring, if at all, into how teams are evaluating him? Bryant then tweeted this in response to Andrews' question. Curious question, why was this brought up during the draft? Miller wasn't convicted of nothing. I'm sure you was told to bring it up, and the fact you went through with it, shake my head. That's been Andrew's M.O. since she joined NBA on ESPN, and this isn't the first time she's been called out by a former athlete for her actions. In April, Kwame Brown, the 2001 number one overall pick by the Washington Wizards, came for Andrews for what he said was falsely trying to frame co-host Jalen Rose while on air of ESPN's NBA Today. In a video that's now gone viral, Brown had a lot to say. That type of woman that Malika Andrews is, she is a representation of the worst type of woman in the world, in my opinion. You want to have an opinion on everything, you want to talk about everything, but then you want to tip the scale to where this feminist is ruling. Jalen Rose did not put his hand in your armpit, ma'am. And if that was something that he did and you thought he did, and this man revealed you as his sister, then you might have wanted to talk to your brother off camera. Y'all better be careful about these women like this. At the time of Brown's rant, he'd been on a media responding tear, and anyone could get it. But in this instance, he was speaking some real truth, just as Brian is. While speaking to Kendrick Perkins about the Brooklyn Nets and Milwaukee Bucks game, she had to ask Big Perk about his opinions. After all, Kendrick is the analyst, and her question was regarding the player under the harshest of spotlights, Ben Simmons. And before Kendrick could even make his point, he started off with a snarking remark. Malika, instead of listening, did something rather egregious. So Kendrick was asked what he expects out of Ben Simmons in the game, and Perk replied, nothing, nothing, absolutely nothing. While that statement does not necessarily seem funny to Miss Andrews, it was so much so that she couldn't stop laughing and interrupted the ESPN analyst while he was speaking. Twitter took notice. Some even pointed out that if the tables were turned, Perk would be under fire. But is ESPN turning the blind eye to Malika? Nobody knows that yet. But her repeatedly pretentious behavior, interruptions, and snarky remarks might lead to her downfall, much to her chagrin. In 2020, Rachel Nichols' hotel room was bugged, and she lost a 20-plus year sports journalism career for comments she made about Maria Taylor. Nichols basically said that the only reason Taylor was assigned to cover the NBA Finals was due to her race. After the audio was leaked, Nichols was dismissed in disgrace, and Andrews began her ascent. ESPN needs to either rein her in or end her rampage of terror, unprofessionalism, and animus against the very people she is responsible for covering. She is free to feel the way she does, but allowing her unlimited access to a national and international platform to do so is inexcusable. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. What do you think about Malika Andrews? Let me know in the comments what you think. Oh, and don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for more amazing NBA content. Thanks for watching, and see you next time!